It's here, Sig Sauer SP2022 in 9mm. Alright, let's get right into this tabletop review. I'm Tactical Dougal 9, and this is my new purchase. It's the Sig Sauer SP2022 in 9mm. So, what you're going to get, you're going to get the newer Sig box. It's the black box. So, let's open that up and see what we got in here. You got your pistol. I purchased an extra mag, and these things are pretty pricey. This is my self defense pistol, so I have the extra mag, and I always keep that loaded with the 147 grain hollow point. And these are the Winchester white box, just to let you guys know. Alright, let's do a safety check on our pistol. There's nothing in the tube. I'm going to drop the magazine. That's an empty mag. Alright, this right here is the tech takedown lever. So it's going to drop the uh, slide when we release this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and release that. And what you're going to notice is the SIG is uh, cocked. And the thing that I really like about SIGs is you can uh, decock them. They have a decocker lever. It's right here. It's the next lever down. So go ahead and I'm going to hit that. And if you look at the hammer, you're going to see that it's going to drop in stages. And I'll do it one more time for you. It's very nice. Uh, this pistol is double and single action, so you can pull the trigger or you can cock back the hammer and you'll be in single action mode. Either way, it's a great all-around range gun, home self-defense. I absolutely love this pistol. So here's a um, better sight radius for you to check it out. It's got the three-dot sights. Uh, these aren't the night sights, but they're really nice. Here's a little close-up of the pistol. Comes with a standard Picatinny rail. It's got the Sig Sauer logo on the bottom of the back strap. Or grip. This pistol is pointed in a safe direction at all times. Just want to give you a clear view of the pistol. Alright, all right. I'm going to show you the disassembly field strip of the SP2022. It's actually really easy. So what you're going to do is, you're going to pull back the slide box, that notch there, until it connects with that notch on your slide catch. So what you're going to want to do first is drop your mag. What I do is I start to pull back the slide and then I hold it up there. And then you want to hold it until it gets to right there. And then you pop from the back side. There's a pin that comes out. You set that down. And then slide forward, it slides right off. And then you have all your inside housing there, your spring and your barrel. This one does have the aftermarket guide rod. It's got the steel guide rod from guiderods.com. Uh, it's been a really good guide rod. So I recommend that to anybody getting this pistol. And it's just reversed to put it back in.
And the little trick on this is, I don't know if you can see, but when you get that first loop into the hole there, You stick your pin in, holds it in place. Until you bring it all the way back. Snap in, release, and check. You're all good to go. Decock. And that's the quick disassembly and reassembly of the SIG 2022. 40 and 357 SIG. This one is being the 9mm. I would say that this pistol is in the size range of medium or full size. Um, the length of it is 7.4 inches, height 5.7 inches, the weight is 1.8125 pounds. It's got the single double action trigger. The trigger pull is 4.4 .4 for single action and 10 for double action. Barrel length is 3.9 inches. The sights on this one are the contrast sights. And it's also available in SIG light night sights. The slide is uh, made out of steel nitron. And the frame material is black polymer. And it's got the textured SIG grips. The capacity of the magazines run 10 and 15. This one being a California SIG, it is 10. You can get them anywhere from four to five hundred dollars, and 350 if you're lucky. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by to watch my review of the SP 2022. I hope you subscribe. I got a lot of neat guns I'm going to be bringing out to show off, and also I'm going to be doing a video of this SIG versus a Glock 17 at the range. We're going to see what's uh, more accurate and what we think is an all about better pistol. So I hope you stick in for that and uh, subscribe. This is a Tactical Dougal 9. Have a nice night. Thank you. Alright, here's a sneak peek on my next video, so when all these big pistols fail you, what do you do next? Do you throw rocks? Well, anyway, this is my upcoming video, so you're going to want to check this one out, too. See if you can guess what that is right there.